welcome to Carolina Warrior TV. I'm Chaz Bryant. Ladies and gentlemen, we have another jam-packed show. We, we've got it creamed with Fight Lab highlights. We've got it stuck with Freedom Fighter highlights. We've got UFC talk with some of the local favorites around here. And ladies and gentlemen, I found a guy. He's got a big mouth. He's got a lot of opinions. He's the one and only mouth of the South, Ryan Gibson. He joins me right now. Ryan, thank you very much for joining me here. You, uh, I've already probably have not even edited this, and I already got people yelling and screaming, saying, "Why do you have this guy up here?" But you, you drive the numbers up, so I'm going to have you on here. Thank you for joining me. I you're appreciate welcome. it. Now you're out and about all the time, but people have no idea what the hell you do. So you're part of Shark Sports Management, if I'm correct. Yes. What does Ryan Gibson do at Shark Sports Management? Ryan Gibson does sponsorships and endorsements. Um, I basically find sponsors for fighters. Um, you'll see them all over their shorts, walkout banners, stuff like that. Basically, it's supplemental income to help the fighter basically get their day-to-day -day bills paid, get them more money for, for fights and things of that sort. Because we all know, even though we love MMA, it sometimes does not pay the bills just on that purse alone at some of these shows. So sponsorships now, in this day and age, really become a big thing. So it's... Mm -hmm. Especially with people, you know, if they want to have the logo of XYZ Company, mm -hmm. you guys sure they got to go to, and the XYZ fighters have that there. Imagine them up. I, I, am I putting words in your mouth? Am I basically explaining it right there? Basically, um, the way that I kind of do it is I, I'll try to match a company with the way that the company is, with the way the fighter is. Um, the best relationships are companies that either the fighter believes in, the fighter needs their equipment, or, you know what I'm saying, that, that their background kind of meets the background of what the company is. Who, who are you sort of managing right now as far as finding those sponsors? Um, presently, right now, we did uh, Cody Bollinger sure. at the World Series of Fighting, um, and basically Johnny Buck, Roger Carroll, Lawson McClure, um, Tim Goodwin, yeah. fighters along those lines, a big, lot of the local guys. Big names, especially around this area, this scene of MMA, especially a lot of them coming up, especially on XFC-wide and Bellator-wide, and mm -hmm. just like I said, the World Series of Fighting. And, of course, uh, I always try to avoid you at all these MMA shows, but you're always there on the scene, just like you were at, at Fight Lab 35 this mm -hmm. past uh, February. It was a good show out there. Oh, yes. It was probably, in my estimation, one of the best local shows um, from top to bottom yeah. that I've seen in a long time. Yeah, it, absolutely. And if you weren't there to see it, here are some highlights. Just take a look and recap that Fight Lab 35 show.
what sort of fights and what fighters stuck out to you? By far the biggest fight that stood out to me was the Charles Rosa versus Keith Richards. Um, in a lot of people's estimation, uh, the guys that watched the fight, um, fans, some of the, the insiders and stuff like that, basically said that was the first round was the best one round of MMA that they've seen live probably ever. Um, I mean, just from the transitions and all that kind of stuff in jiu-jitsu, nobody really had the upper hand. And I mean, basically, it, <clears throat> it, it was kind of like the, the Mickey Ward, Arturio Gotti round three of, of their first round. So, who, who sort of coming up that you saw there at that show that you might think, oh man, this might be the next best thing coming out of here? The, the next best thing is kind of hard to, to base it off of that. Um, I saw a lot of promise out of uh, Ryan Jett. Yeah. Um, I see a lot of his, of his sparring partner, like Ricky Rainey. He looks like a, a Ricky Rainey, Joe Pacheco type of fighter. Um, the one that I really wanted to see was Mike Williams, the uh, national champion wrestler, four-time All-American. Unfortunately, he didn't get to fight. Um, so, I mean, Trey, uh, Trey Singleton mm -hmm. did pretty well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, a lot of the, the dark side MMA guys did, did pretty well. Dark, I, are you surprised about that name change, too, from dark side? Because I didn't hear about it until actually I went up there. And I mean, I would have called it like the Bread Bowl or something like that. Bowl. That sounds like yeah. a, a... Bread Bowl MMA. That sounds like a horrible college football bowl <laughs> that goes on later on <laughs> in the year. But it, 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 just like you said, of course, knowing Keith that I do... That, that was one of the fight he was really looking forward to. Mm -hmm. You know, things didn't happen his way, but a lot of people, especially after the fight, and especially with the replays of the video, said, man, that's the best thing I've seen out of Keith in a long time. Mm -hmm. That's one of the best first, like you said, best first rounds. Uh, unfortunately, he didn't get it. And there are a lot of good things, uh, you know, fortunately, unfortunately, what the opponent changes, you know, Charles Rosa stepped up and uh, gamefully went out there and got the, the, got the W. Are you looking for the next uh, Fight Live show coming up in a couple of weeks? I'm looking forward to it, yes, when they have a fight card out and basically I can look at it, get excited for it, then yes. And one thing we can get excited for is coming up is U.S. Freedom Fighter 16. That will be coming in Gastonia, and we'll talk about that. back from combat, it's done like anything you've ever been through in your life. I didn't know what PTSD was. All I knew is I was having nightmares. If we don't help these young men and women heal, we're going to lose another generation. You have to find that passion again once you come home. I'm learning to face my fear. To just let go and see what happens at the end. They couldn't break me. I just kept coming back. I had to drive me sire. So you actually want to get inside the cage. You want to get on these mats. Well, it's a good thing we're down here at Modern Warrior MMA, the home, the training headquarters of the rock star, Keith, the rock star Richardson. And why not sort of get some advice from him? So here's him going through some training tips, a little bit of moves from Keith, the rock star Richardson. Keith, the rock star Richardson, today I'm going to show you an arm wrap sweep, um, or as I like to call it, the turkey wrap. Um, yeah, this, this is originally a uh, really good gi sweep uh, that I kind of modified to fit my needs for uh, no gi and uh, MMA, hence the, uh, hence the gloves. All right, so I'm going to start out with uh, Chaz and my guard, and yeah, you want to, uh, this works really good when your opponent uh, has postured up and he's gotten, gotten into a really good uh, striking position where he can really drive down and th put some weight behind his punches, all right? Um, you know, I, I'm going to use um, a parry here. You know, as he tries to throw, like, probably a, a straight 
straight punch, you know, because any anytime he throws a, a loopy punch, I'll probably just, you know, block it to the outside and try to uh, collapse that arm. If he starts trying to throw those nice straight punches, I'm going to take uh, his hand, and right before the, uh, Right before I get clocked in the jaw, I'm going to parry and I'm going to scoop my hips out and kind of push across. I'm going to take that hand and pass it to my, to my bottom hand, all right? As soon as I do that, I've got to get nice and tight on him and get up on my hip, all right? The reason why I want to get nice and tight is that's going to keep him from pulling that arm back, you know, and uh, getting, you know, uh, centering back up on me. All right, once I get to this position, all I'm going to do is I'm going to take that hand and pass it back to that hand. All right, now I've got a nice wrap around his, uh, I've got his own arm wrapped around his head nice and securely. All right, I'm staying in there nice and tight. He can't get that arm back. All right, from this position, all I've got to do is finish my sweep. All right, it's a nice pendulum sweep. I'm going to take that top leg and I'm going to kick it all the way out here. As I do that, this bottom leg is going to kick right into his armpit. All right, so it's going to come out all, all the way out here. This is going to kick, and then I'm just going to pull this arm in there nice and tight. And I shouldn't have to muscle it that, that much if, as long as I'm timing my, uh, my legs and my hips properly. All right, so I'm going to kick out, kick, kick, pull up, and I'm going to pull him all the way up to a, a side mount position right here. All right, I'm going to keep that arm in there nice and tight because if this is MMA, you know, I, I've got a, a world of possibilities that I can, uh, that I can use. You know, I can just start wailing away, throwing elbows. You know, I can start setting up my arm bar. There's some triangles that I can work from here. Once I get him in this side map position, he's in a, uh, he's in a world of pain and possibilities. <laughs> Ryan Gibson's back. We got a couple of good fights up there in Gastonia on March 7th. We sort of highlight, highlighted some of the pro side of the cards. Uh, the main one we got, Kevin Frant versus Craig Johnson. What do you see out of that? Kevin Frant's been pretty much on a, on a tear after his last XFC fight. Um, I, I can kind of see him and Craig Johnson kind of going at it for a little bit, but, I mean, I have to hand it to Kevin Frant. I, I kind of see him winning by TKO in either the second or third round. Yeah, not, not too, knowing too much out of Craig Johnson. Uh, Kevin Frant, comes in strong. Uh, as it is, I know he wants to redeem himself after that fight with versus Bam up there at the Fight Lab show. So I'm pretty sure he wants to get back in the cage and manhandle somebody. Any other fight that sort of sticks out at you? Um, one of the amateur fights, it's Brad Geyer versus Jeremy Holloway. Yeah. That's that's a pretty big fight right oh, here yeah. at, at 170. Um, I mean, Jeremy Holloway, as you've seen, I mean, he's a beast. Nasty. He's, he's strong. Yeah. When he walks around, he looks like a Greek god. Um, and then you've got Bradley Geyer, who's out of Team Highest on yeah. IMB, um, who's just a grinder. Yeah. Um, he's powerful as well. Uh, out of that one, I just see I see Jeremy Holloway just imposing his will. We'll, we'll see what happens because Brad Geyer, of course, is a training teammate with uh, Kevin Font. So it's always good sometimes to have that pro presence inside the cage, or, or at least in training. He doesn't really help him inside the cage. There's not a tag team type thing going on back and forth. But it's always fun just to see what these – what the pros bring down to some of these amateurs inside the cage. So that's going to be a fun fight out there. Are you going to be up there? Should be up there. Okay. I'm going to try to get up there. I'm pretty sure they're going to have you uh, somehow banned from the... Uh, they might have a hitman out. Yeah, yeah, yes, that'll be all right. But coming up, we'll talk about some of the USC fights that happened. Sheriff McMahon was on the card this past February. And Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. We'll get all that information coming up here on Carolina Warrior TV after this.
right back here at Ryan Gibson with the short time we have left. There are a lot of good things happen with Carolina fighters around the area. This past uh, this past month, back in February, it was UFC 70, 170? 170. 170. And he had about, what, three Carolina connections out there? Three Carolina connections were on the, the main card. Yeah. Let's talk about Sarah McMahon. A lot of people were sort of angry with the ref, you know, controversial decision. But we still just see her on that platform out there. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a... It's a high place to be on. I mean, she, she was fighting for the UFC Bantamweight women's title against none other than Ronda Rousey. Yeah. Um, now, I mean, she did, she did take a, a knee to the liver. Um, some people say it was an early stoppage. Yeah. Some, it, it, it's one of those darned if you do, darned if you don't type things. Stephen Wonderboy Thompson did a great job out there that night. Stephen Wonderboy Thompson did. He, he got the knockout. Um, he won a, one of the performance of the night bonuses. Um, I can see Wonder Boy climbing the rankings really fast. There you go. And, uh, I'm missing somebody, somebody else. Raffaello of uh, Oliveira. He can track it. Well, it's a Brazilian name. I'm going to murder it somewhere. Yeah, more than uh, A lot of good things coming up, especially with the warfare stuff coming up in March. Do you know uh, anything on the horizon? Um, you've got warfare coming up with uh, with Johnny Buck on the card. Um, it's going to be a lot of title fights, um, amateur and pro title fights. Um, then you've got like the, the heavyweight title fight at Conflict between uh, A-Train, mm -hmm. um, the former Fight Lab champion, versus Nick Smiley, who's the number one heavyweight in the state of Georgia. Uh, Roger Carroll's going to be up at CES there you go. In, uh, in Rhode Island at uh, Twin, Twin Rivers Casino. So, I mean, there's a lot of guys all over the place. No, it's really good just to see some of these guys out there really making the scene, especially on the national stage. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of these guys, especially you go, if you find a place, Google places where to train at, some of these guys, especially the pros out there, are really making some big things around the Carolinas. Anything you want to leave us with before we take off? Um, just there, there's one more Carolina connection. Um, Justin Scoggins oh, yeah. will be at, at UFC that. 171. He's fighting uh, Will Camposano. Um, hopefully this will get tank into the, the top 15 talks in the, in the flyweight division. Absolutely, and, and do it this, this time here in the home states uh, instead of doing Australia. We want to see him, especially if he's going to be on that uh, national card on Fox mm -hmm. Sports 1, we really want to see him in form really well. And it's a, it's a big card because it's the, the Robbie Lawler versus Johnny Hendricks card. There you go. Mr. Ryan Gibson, thank you very much, sir. Yes, sir. We appreciate everybody watching. Make sure you stay tuned uh, to this uh, YouTube channel. Uh, Carolina Warrior TV. Make sure you can follow us on Twitter, uh, YouTube, like I just said, and on Facebook. We want to thank Mr. Evan Goyette behind the cameras, and we want to thank you for watching. Peace. See you next time, everyone.